Okay class, now we're going to learn the steps of the water cycle. The first step is collection. Collection is when the water will soak into the earth and become part of the groundwater that may run over the soil and collect in the oceans, lakes, or rivers. The second step is transpiration. Transpiration is the release of water vapor from plants and soil into the air. The next step is evaporation. Evaporation is when the sun heats up water and turns it into vapor or steam. The water vapor goes into the air and forms clouds. The next step is condensation. Condensation is when the water vapor in the air gets cold and changes back into liquid, forming clouds. Finally, we have precipitation. Precipitation is when the clouds get heavy and water falls back to the earth in the form of rain, hail, sleet, or snow. Now that you know all the steps of the water cycle, let's see how well you understand how it actually flows.